I've been on my ladies a lot lately, especially since y'all been out here complaining about what the fuck has been going on. The Jess Hilariouses, uh, the Carly Russells, a lot of different people throughout society have been complaining about what is going on. But I am absolutely, positively heartbroken. Heartbroken. I am absolutely heartbroken. I am. And the reason that I'm heartbroken is because of these, these, these OGs. Shout out to Diamond J. Rose. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly. It's these OGs. More than the women. More than the women. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly, William. Lucian. <laughs> More than the women out here in society that advocated for the thing that was the worst for them. Now they left holding the bag. And I ain't talking about the bag on no money type shit. I'm talking about the bag of goods that they sold y'all that was absolutely the worst for you. More than the, than the women out here that's doing the wildest shit ever, it's the OGs. Fuck you OGs. And I ain't talking about the ones that's rocking out for the Millionaire Morning Show. I ain't talking about them. I ain't talking about the ones that's been holding it down. I ain't talking about the ones that's been pouring into their communities and taking care of their families and been on top of things. Because the same way that we address hoes, and it's the difference between a hoe and a housewife, the same way that we say it's the difference between a black man and a nigga, is the same way that we identify the difference between the OGs that has led us down the wrong, the absolute wrong path. And I was reminded of that this morning. Right? I jumped into a little, little form or whatever. I hate you. And it's okay for me to hate. The same way that I hate pedophiles, I hate these OGs. Matter of fact, y'all might be right there. If the pedophiles is 1A, then the OGs is 1B. Y'all 1B. Fucking assholes. Assholes. And Every way, shape, and form. Can't stand you niggas. On both sides, black and white. Black and white. Let me start with the white folk. Let me start with the white folk. How egregious of it, what of this whole situation is it that y'all punk asses are the forefathers of feminism? Now, I know that the narrative is always white women has led black women and the feminism. But think about this shit for a minute. Before we really, really get into the show, think about this for a minute. If white men, the, the, the OOG, I mean the dudes that came over here and just kicked the Indians' ass and gave them chicken pox and, you know, took over their land and relegated them to the worst parts of the United States in order to try to survive and told them that they can build some casinos and they didn't have to pay taxes. Those motherfuckers, those were some OG, those were some monsters. They said, listen, war has existed since the beginning of time and it's your turn, North America. We taking this bitch over. We gonna divide it up amongst our own friends. We gonna give y'all some diseases and we gonna take this bitch over and then we gonna build it up by trading with the Africans over there and the motherfuckers don't know nothing. They keep calling themselves kings and queens, but they gonna get the bad end of this stick because they don't know shit about negotiating. And even though they may be bigger, stronger, and have larger cocks, that don't stop us from going over there and whooping y'all ass. So we gonna negotiate an agreement in which you go capture your own fucking people and then you sell them to us and then we gonna transport them over into North America and we gonna make them our property and they gonna be our commerce and we gonna motherfucking build the United States of America. That's what we gonna do. Them dudes was some monsters. I mean, they, listen, call them what you want, but don't call them capitalistic. Don't call them anything less than capitalistic because they ran this bitch. Against all odds, they ran the numbers up over here. If, if, if there's anything that we can identify as a bag chaser, they were the bag chasers. And then black people started complaining about the fact that they didn't know how to negotiate effectively. And then they started complaining, talking about, we want reparations. You should go and get them from that badass deal that you did over there in Africa when they sold your ass over here. They didn't come over there and conquer y'all. They didn't come over there and war with y'all. They came over and got you willingly. You handed your sons over and your daughters over and your, your people over and you handed them over willingly. 
What part of that is untrue? What part of that is untrue? Tell me. What part of that is untrue? Call me what you want, but call, don't call me a liar. What part of that is untrue? You participated in the slave trade. There were literally black slave owners over here in the United States of America. Tell me, what part of that is untrue? Now, here's the interesting part about it, though, right? Because they say strong times. Well, listen, I don't know. It don't, I'm a C student. Don't get me the wrong quote and all of that shit. But the reality is this. Them motherfuckers went through some shit and they built some shit. They built some shit. Now you got these weak, hot, man. That's why I don't call them white men anymore. They're not, listen, when you say from the mountains of Caucasus, that sounds like something to be esteemed and great. Listen, you from the mountains of Caucasus, you can probably pick up a boulder and walk it down the street and throw it on somebody's head. That shit sound big, don't it? That shit sound like it's some real, yo, he from the mountains of Caucasus. If somebody said, yo, man, don't fuck with him. He from the mountains of Caucasus. I'm like, damn, that dude must got some, some stuff about him that I don't really want to run up against. He wrestled with bears. You know what I'm saying? But I don't call these new dudes white man from the mountains of Caucasus. We call them white man. It's a reason why we put that H-W, H-W, <laughs> H-Y-T-E. That's how we spelling it for y'all motherfuckers because how do you have such strong, independent, monstrous, against all lives? We gonna take over and kick ass and take names and take out babies, motherfuckers that came over here and took over the United States. Then you bitches are the ones that wind up starting the MGTOW movement. Men going your own way. Red pill movement. We losing. We lost control of our own households. That's because we start acquiescing over and giving them over our paychecks. Weak. Weak. Every time I see a white man and he come over to me and he come on these panels and he be like, Anton, oh my God, my woman is kicking my ass. I'll be like, you's, you's the weakest motherfucker in the world. No way in the world that you niggas is on social security benefits overwhelmingly. No way in the world that y'all and y'all companions are the ones that's on welfare the most. No way in the world are y'all trying to storm the Capitol building because... You ain't got no more control over what the fuck is happening in the country that you came over here and conquered. How weak. And now y'all trying to give up reparations too? Jesus. Weak, 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 weak. And now you got these OGs, these OG black men with the gray in their beards and they trying to be silver foxes and you worked all 30 years of your life and now your pension is fucked up and you said have a wife, have a life and you was over there shugging and jiving and having multiple different families and fucking up your household and shit and now you motherfuckers is out here giving bad advice and create an entirely new generation. Listen, you know why men today, specifically black men are in a much better position than their forefathers? You know why? Because they woke up and they said, I'm not going to be like my daddy or my grandfather. My grandfather was a drunk. My daddy couldn't really hold down a job. But we acknowledge him just because we nice and we forgive him. But the reality is that we're going to take care of our kids. We're going to take care of our sons. We're going to raise our daughters to be much different than the way that they raised us. How many of y'all in the chat, men and women together, can recall and remind yourself of your father or your grandfather that was fucked up? And he ran his household like a bitch. And now you niggas is out here trying to give advice still. Like we want to hear you niggas. In every way, shape, and form, y'all had it the best. Y'all was the first generation that didn't have to deal with a level of racism. Had all of the opportunity to run up a bag, run up the check. And you know what you niggas did? You sold crack to your community. You came home and you said, happy wife, happy life. You gave rise to feminism. You ran out here and you thought that you was cool because you had a motherfucking afro. And now we got the same niggas trying to imitate what the fuck you doing. You was the niggas that created hip hop and the black culture that we call trash today. You was the niggas that was out here forsaking us and putting people under duress. You was the ones that sold out. 
You sold out every, so you didn't stand for nothing. Y'all was some straight up suckers in every way, shape, and form. You had more freedom than the people before you. You had more opportunity. You had the best jobs. You didn't even have to go to college. All you niggas had to do was hold it down. Hold it down. You had better than anybody before you. The people that came before y'all, they actually had to suffer. They went through the Tulsa, Oklahoma City. You niggas tore up your own hoods, your own families. You came in and the white people didn't even want to be around you. Y'all was the first generation that had control of entire cities. Entire cities. You had control of that shit. Don't believe me? Detroit, Michigan. You controlled the, the, the school system. Public transportation, where the dollars was going, the mayors, the city council, you was the superintendents, you motherfuckers had control of the entire county. You know what you did? You stole yourself to death. You stole yourself to death. You took every resource, you sold every fucking mad book, you finessed, you stole, you killed. Y'all niggas was the original scammers. We just didn't have... The internet in order to be able to call you bitches out. Pocket watching with JT would have a field day if we was in the internet era in the 1970s. Pocket watching with JT would have a fucking field day if we was in the internet era in the 1970s and the 1980s because you niggas was the original scammers. You scammed yourself. You fucked up your own city. You fucked up your own family. And now you niggas want to come to the front of the congregation and have a conversation with us on these applications. Fuck you niggas. Y'all is the worst of the worst. Y'all got the worst advice. You did the worst things and you never brought yourself to the front of the congregation and absolved yourself. I need every one of you niggas on the pulpit. I want y'all begging for Jesus. I want you calling out that. I want you calling out Jesus name. Tarion trying to get the motherfucking Holy Ghost and asking forgiveness on the altar before we start listening to you niggas. I hate you niggas. I hate you niggas. Y'all out here and fucked up every single part of the community. We hold women accountable for their choices because they have the freedom to choose for themselves. But you niggas, it was the original simps. Y'all was the original scammers. You the original drug dealers. Listen, and then you want to blame it on the government and the, the CIA brought it in. Ain't nobody tell you to sell it to your family, nigga. You couldn't even just sell it to the dope boy. You had to sniff it, smoke it, and sell it to your mama and your grandma. You ran in your own grandmother's crib in order to steal money and then you sold her crack on the, on the other end of it. Ain't no way in the world you can get me to do something against my own family. You niggas was treacherous. Demons, the original ones. You the reason why the whole family is fucked up. I hate you niggas. I hate when y'all talk. I hate the smell of your breath, nigga. You smell like cigarettes and, 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 and been gay, nigga. Because you been gay, nigga. You been gay. You was been gay before this company created been gay in order to aches and pains your shit out. Every time I see you niggas asking for money when I'm coming in on my way to work, I just skip right over you when I give it to whoever it is that's younger than you. If I could tell what the next generation is, I skip over you. I say, nah, I want you niggas to just go away. Go a fucking way. Y'all don't need no more bread. You don't need no more cheese. You done stole and sold and did everything. you. And you know what the worst part about it is? It seems like the worst of these motherfuckers is still alive. The worst of these niggas is still alive. They still existing. That's why we got son husbands and son wives. It's because of y'all. It's because of y'all. When y'all gonna bring y'all monkey asses to the front of the congregation? Ain't never did nothing for nobody. Ain't added one piece of value into society. Every last one of you motherfuckers need to be on the altar. I want you call them. Call the name of Jesus. Call him out. Say it fast. Terry. G -g 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 -g. Say it. I want you speaking in other tongues as the spirit of God give utterance. And I want you to ask for forgiveness for what it is that you did to our society. It's all on you. You can't do nothing for us except for ask for forgiveness to try to repair some of the trauma that some of these motherfuckers is going through today. Now they got to overcome times 10, everything that you did. You keep on celebrating niggas talking about, yeah, they the first one to go to college. Nigga, where was you going to college? Why you ain't do it? Why you not the example? Why you didn't set the example? You had everything. You had everything at your disposal. Everything. 
The people that went before you, they were suffering. They had to deal with racism and they had to deal with people burning down their homes and burning down everything that they had going on with them. And now you niggas came up, benefited from the benefited from the greatness of the Freedom Riders and all of the people that came before you when you did nothing with it, but you fumbled it. Y'all are the biggest fumblers of the century. The biggest fumblers of the century. You filled our jails. You gave us the worst things as work that the worst things for black culture. You gave it to us. It's your fault. It's your generation. Bring your ass to the front of the congregation and ask for forgiveness, nigga. We so tired of forgiving y'all. We're so tired of forgiving you niggas. We got to keep on saying, well, forgiveness is for us. It's not for them. We need to be able to let go of the trauma. No, nigga, you forgive somebody. Ask for it. Ask for the forgiveness. Stop waiting on us to call you to give you forgiveness, my nigga. We got to keep on bringing you niggas to the front of the congregations and then y'all want to jump up on the panels and have a conversation. Nigga, fuck you. And everything you stand for, even in our sports, you niggas was messing up. Michael Jordan to tell you, he told you in the Last Dance documentary, he said, listen, when I came into the league, them niggas was high on crack and dope. They was fucked up. You know what y'all gave us? AIDS, HIV, syphilis, gonorrhea, crack, rap music, hoes for the streets, pimping. You sold out your daughters, human trafficking. You gave us all of the things that we hate today, and y'all still want to come over here and tell us, hey, I'll give you some game, little man, little homer. That's what I got for you, nigga. Suck my dick. When I see these old niggas that ain't want to give me some, some advice and they not successful, listen, every old dude that want to come up and teach you how to go about tearing, taking care of your relationship, if they not successfully married, fuck them. If you find a dude that's above the age of 60, if you find a guy that's above the age of 60, if you find a woman that's above the age of 60, because they the generation, ladies, don't, don't blame men anymore. Ladies, listen, listen, I'm going to give y'all a pass today. Fellas, I'm going to give y'all a pass today. You ain't got to blame men of your generation. You ain't got to even blame the men that, that's up below the age of 59 and, and, and lower, right? Blame the people that came before you. Blame your mother and your father because your mother is the first generation of women that's dying alone. Not widowed, voluntarily dying alone. She taught you this shit. Blame the guys that are 60 and above. They're the ones that fumbled an entire opportunity and generation that they had at their at they feet. They sold y'all out. Blame them. Don't, don't, no, listen, listen. We're divided because we're so busy blaming each other. We're going to hold each other accountable. That does not absolve us from being responsible for our decisions, but blame them. They're the ones that filled the prisons for the prison industrial complex and, and made, it, made it profitable for them to go ahead and make that privatization. Blame, you have my permission to hold your motherfucking grandmother and your motherfucking father accountable. Fuck them. Let them die off. And don't let them die off comfortably. Don't put them niggas in a nursing home. Let them roam the streets. Stop being a son husband. Stop being a son wife. Or a wife husband or whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. Let these niggas roam. Let them roam around like they crazy on the streets until it get cold outside and then we just gonna gather these niggas up and then put them away let them roam don't let them go out comfortably let them go out the same way that they brought us in let them go out the same way that they brought us in until you niggas come back to the front of the congregation and you say I apologize publicly fuck them hate you niggas. I hate you niggas even find social media to even have a conversation with us in the, in the first place. And obviously, obviously, we're not talking about all the people because obviously there's always going to be some outliers that did the right thing and they shouldn't suffer the same fate as the people of their peers. So if the shoe fit or the shoe don't fit, don't even try to put that bitch on. But the reality is that let them go. Let them go. Sit.
Niggas never put no money into social security, was out here smoking crack, but they always get a check every month. You niggas is out here walking around getting disability and y'all was the first ones to finesse the system, ain't putting no money into the tax base and then finessing the system and finessing the taxpayers, you got Medicaid, Medicare, and you getting disability income, knowing that you could take your black ass to work, you never contributed nothing into it, and now we gotta pay a fucking pyramid scheme in in order for you to survive. Fuck you niggas. That's why we got these old ass, punk ass presidents. They the same generation. They sold y'all a bag of lies. They the ones that created all of this bullshit and all of these legislative laws and all of this shit and y'all still letting them finesse y'all, telling y'all they, they gonna forgive your student loans. Don't you know that they created the very laws that incarcerated the people that you hate the most now? And you voted for them in office. Character don't mean nothing. You voted for them. They created the very laws that broke up your family and you still voted for them off of the promise of forgetting your fucking student loans. Damn, why? Why? Don't let these old geezers keep finessing y'all. I seen a nigga in the casino about a month ago. He gonna try to tell me how to bet my money. I said, nigga, who you talking to? And why you keep putting money on the table when I've got my dice in the hand? So whatever he betting, we betting against him. Everybody made money. Fuck him. Let him go. I said what I said. 